Hello, welcome back. It's been a little while and I apologise for the lack of content. As you can imagine, it's been very busy with everything that's been happening at home and there's been a lot of things happening at work as well. Lots of changes, lots of things going all over the shop, so I've had to get things settled there. But I'm back for the time being. I have recorded some previous content, which I will pop on before we're heading to here and you can have a look. There's about 15 minutes worth. You can see what I've been up to in the past uh, few weeks ago. But then I'll show you what's happening, what's going on, and I'll show you what I'm getting up to today, and hopefully with John as well. So this was taken a few weeks ago. Today is the 9th of November, day before my birthday. I'm getting old. <laughs> I've had to get Leslie to cut me grey hair out of my beard. <laughs> um, Leslie's doing fine as well, by the way. We'll, uh, we'll say hello a little bit, late, little bit later on. Um, we'll have a four-day four day scan coming on this Friday. It's uh, She's 32 weeks pregnant now, nearly, this coming Thursday. It's flown over. Not long left to little 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 girls here, um, but anyways, this is what I've been up to. This is what I've done previously, and uh, I'll see you right back after it. Hello, strangers. How are you doing? I do need to get things sorted out. I've been away, as you all know, for the past few weeks. It was nice to catch up with everybody last. Uh, oh wait, the Sunday that I did last upload and uh, we did a live on there. So thanks everybody for coming along. I will start looking to get and doing the lives again shortly because I know a few people have been asking for them. But uh, as I've been quite busy at the minute and been away from home, it's not been an ideal opportunity to do so. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, it's Saturday. I've got this weekend to start make a start getting things sorted out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've been down this morning, picked some multi-purpose compost up so that I can put the majority of this stuff back for seed. A lot of this will just be going into pots so that I can move it around as the time comes. A lot of it, some of it will be going into trenches. But before I can put it in the trenches, I need to clear the trenches out. So this is what my plan is this morning. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the giant greenhouse. The giant house, sorry, I'm going to clear that out. I'm just going to do small bits, little and often, and get it cleared. So this, like you've seen before, this was just some of the hole that I took from the uh, Northeast Giant Veg with express permission, obviously permission from others, Gros. And this is Andy Dawson's onion. So uh, I've got to put that back to seed, which is just a case of popping it into a pot with some multi-seed, uh, some multi-purpose compost. I'll clear it off and stuff like that as well. Uh, same with the leeks. The leeks need to go into the ground as well, but that's uh, that's getting sorted. But I need to take these home. I need to take these cu 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 cucumbers home. They're starting to go now. And I'll put them in the shed just so that I've got them on. Uh, I'm going to put them in like one of these trays so that it's not going to mush everywhere. Because these, I need to get them nice and soft so that I can take the seed. And the seed will be taken from around about here, down over, and here, down over. And then remember correctly, these are from my seed. So these are all my cucumbers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cucumbers so far to get seed from and whilst i'm in here let's show you what's happening since i've been away i've got more cucumbers growing <laughs> so, let's look how cucumbers growing on here it's too late for them all now but it's just still amazing how far they, they keep on growing another one there I've been away for a few weeks and it's where well, there's a will there's a way i've got i don't know what's happened with this one But also, I've spotted, I've got some up top as well. So there's some already grown on the top of there. I've got tomatoes still growing. So I need to get in here. I've got that one behind there. We've got that one there, which needs to be taken off. That one. Oh, there's another one up there as well. <laughs> So this does need to be cleared out. I do have one more tomato left to take, which is you just get a better view from the other side. These two, unfortunately, have gone. Blossom end rot, obviously due to lack of water and regular water and etc. etc. Um, and also, there's that one there at the back, which I'll take today and I'll take that home and get it weighed and see what it weighs. But other than that, all of these need chopped back. But standing around here is not going to get anything done. So put yours down and let me get sorted out.
There we go, that's a good start. So this these this pepper plant will just get left. This uh, giant beetroot I'll just leave for a couple more weeks and then uh, I'll let I'll give everything a good soak in here now. Um get rid of all the bits and pieces. But I've also been across the bottom here. I am gonna try and get a cover for the bottom here because it just saves uh, even if I just get some slabs or something just to put in here level off chuck loads of sand down on here and then just stick the slabs on top it's going to make life a lot easier for me with the the weeds coming up because I did originally put some gravel down as you can see there and every time I try and scrape across the top it's just bringing the gravel up so because this is the lowest part of the garden every time it waters it, every time it rains it obviously comes all the way down um but that's that's them done sorted happy days Right, on to the next. I'll tell you what, I mean, that's the wrong time for a start, but the temperature inside here for autumn, that's ridiculous, huh? 23 degrees, 70 Fahrenheit. That's how warm it is in here. That's nuts, no wonder stuff's still growing. Right, on to the next task. So these beds are the beds that I've basically just left this year. This is where I'm contemplating putting the seeds. This, this stuff to put back for seed. So uh, I'm gonna have to take all of this apart just to start again, really. But uh, first off, let's get things tidy. Before I carry on over there, you can see I have an apple in my hand. I'm down there at Grandad's and he's taking all these apples off. We'll have a look and see what he's done. He's got all these stored now. These are the cooking apples. So they're all cooked. Stores them in plastic trays with a layer of paper in between each section. Makes them last longer. Get them for, uh, some plenty of air as well. Mm -hmm. uh, pardon, the, pardon the pictures. <laughs> there the eaters there. Same thing again. And uh, what's on the bottom ones? I didn't need, didn't need to lift them up, but uh, what's the bottom ones? Same eaters. Same eaters. And these ones over here, I've got pears over here. Stored exactly the same. Now, Grant, I was just saying there, it states that uh, the pears need to come off in October. So I'll be having a look at mine to see whether mine's ready to come off or not. And they've got this big tub as well. Okay. Full of cooking apples. So, been very busy while I've been away, and also we've just been around the back there and getting the cooking apples off that tr off that tree there. More cookers off that tree there, and uh, this is what we've come because you couldn't reach bless them. And this is what we've come up with. So we've got full bag full there, and another pocket full there. So it's absolutely tons and tons and tons. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then <laughs> so last time I give you an update was this tree was falling over with the amount of weight of fruit on them so Granda in my absence took it all off and we've just staked it up here the best we can for the time being and just put that stake in there as well so not only have we got them he's also got the Granny Smiths here which is what I'm busy munching on they're all leaning over that side now last year we chopped a uh, a bit off on this side that was coming across here and it looks like we've done that obviously it's kind of balanced when he hasn't trimmed it it's uh it's leaning over so what we'll do is we'll take these off and uh when grand has got some more trays and we'll sort this out as well because it needs to be chopped back which will be getting done november december time and uh but look at that absolutely tons and tons and tons of apples and like i say there's my hand for size much there's loads of massive and they're really nice as well even next door's getting some <laughs> and these are the damaged ones which go on the compost heap or if you want you could chop them up and make a cider out of them but i won't be doing that this year uh, by the way i'm gonna need some veg for dinner so i'll leave some carrots and parsnip and that i've got some ready but uh, we'll do that in a minute uh, you got any parsnips ready like Oh well, I'm gonna have a mooch around granddad's. I'm gonna mooch around for dinner. <laughs> I've got some parsnips here as well. Look at that. He said you thought he said they weren't ready. <laughs> crack as them. We'll get them washed off. I've just washed the carrots off. They're over there on top of there. I don't need any taties. But they look like some cork as them. That'll do. I don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't gonna get any more. He says. <laughs> We'll get these washed off, but these are the carrots anyways. The little cookers. I'll get them a proper clean off when I get home. Just stick them in the pot. Job's a good one. Right. Looks like a kid of Christmas. I'm getting fruit. 
getting veg. Happy days. So yeah, when it comes to parsnips, good friend of the channel, Terry, from Robotic Allotment Gardener, will know all too well, the tops of these can have the same effects as burns, like hogweed and stuff like that. So always pull parsnips, preferably with gloves. I'm just holding these to show you. But when you're taking them out, because if you move them with your arms, then you can cause burns all up your arms. So just be careful. So I'm just going to brush these down. Can't get any fresher than that. Yeah. Better than the shop then, man. <laughs> yes, for you as well. Some beetroot. So Granddad doesn't sow them in little trays or nothing like that. He just does a direct line, line sown straight into the, the ground. And look at them. They're huge for garden beetroot. And you keep them, pick them when they get to about uh, golf ball size for a nice, uh, nice mm. sweet, nice sweet beetroot. I might take a couple of them actually. Mm. What's this? Yeah, yeah, tom yeah, tomatoes. Volunteer tomatoes. <laughs> I got them out the cool frame, out, out the, the raised bed. Oh, is that the ones you transplanted from the raised bed? Oh, I chose them. Ah, they'll just come from nowhere, haven't they? But I have plenty of leeks there for when it comes to leek, uh, leeking potatoes through for the winter. Same with the parsnips, they're much better when you ha get a frost, because it makes them a lot sweeter. But uh, I need some for tomorrow, so that's what I'm taking them for now. But uh, I love coming in here and helping myself. <laughs> peppers, I've got yellow peppers, but uh, I haven't obviously not been looking after them, so your peppers on that side have not done very well, are they? That's because they're, they're outside, man. Oh, that's just because they would say you might want to cut back on tomatoes next year and they put the peppers in there could do see what happens but uh, I'm going to have to head back on mine because I've got loads of stuff to do but thanks for that it's a secret for a reason <laughs> you're not supposed to show anybody <laughs> but a high rate I'm going to take I'm going to sneak these away now he's not going to see they're mine <laughs> little harvest I'm gonna get me carrot, me uh, apples as well. Right, that's that bed done. I've also tidied up this bed. This side's pretty much sturdy, so I'm leaving it in. You can see, all sorted. I'm gonna put that cover back on here, and I'm gonna put that cover back on there, and that's them um, two beds done. So one other task I'm gonna get done now is this grapevine. This grapevine is in the way. It's not produced as it should do. It's just getting bigger and like I say this is going to be a walk through for between mine and John's plot so I'm going to take it out I'm going to snip it off now take it out and then uh, chop it all up right that's that done so that's all cleared out all sorted so we've got plenty of room to get in between there now fantastic just quickly next door yeah looks like John's been busy he's dug out this bed you can see all the all the horse tail coming up of it and what he's done is he's got his uh, got his uh, table here Shades back and forward and all the good stuff minus hopefully the weeds going to that bed there so that's what he's been busy doing this uh, marrow still going for a little no it is for a little plant it is a smallish plant that's still a canny sized marrow I'll take that off oh, it's going to start scratching it a bit but the plant's pretty much uh, given up now so that's probably the biggest going to get I'll harvest start this weekend We'll get it weird and see what was any better than last year. For the fact that I've not done anything with it, it might beat last year's. But uh, aye, everything's looking canny in here. You can see where they've been, which is great. So good job, guys. These, uh, we're going to need we're going to plums. And there's a plum there. I'll leave them actually. Uh, it looks like they've been clearing everything down here as well. Actually, see the, the pear trees now. Oh. Oops, that fell off of my hand. You seen that? I'll take that one. <laughs> Thief. <laughs> he's been very he's been busy. But uh, let's uh, crack on. So there's one more thing I want to get sorted today, and I've got a cauliflower to take home for dinner tomorrow. So let's have a look and see what the giant cauliflower's like. I'll take that out. We'll have a look at the runner beans to see if there's any longings hiding. And then I'm going to call it quits for today. So last thing for me today is to harvest this cauliflower. So we've already got another two there. They're not quite ready. I'm going to harvest this one. As you can see, it's uh, 
it's ready for the picking that I'll do for dinner tomorrow and with that I can have a look and see what length of beans I've got in here for a neglected plant <laughs> looks like there's a canny decent uh, canny few anyways let's get this one taken out I need a knife I can't find a knife so that's all I have to do I'll do this one handed timber <laughs> excellent right Let's get this bad boy cleaned up and we'll see the size of it. Well, hey, so that's that tidied up. And there's the cauliflower for tomorrow. <laughs> this is a giant variety that I got from the uh, Graham Barrett seed pack from last year. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it's went considering I just put this in in replace of the, the, the cabbages that were giant cabbage that went to seed very early on. So uh, at least I've gotten a crop out of it. So it's always worth putting something else in. I pulled this table across here just to get some some uh, some height basically but i'm gonna have plenty of long seed which is great uh i've just measured the biggest one i could find here that's this one here as you can see it's a lovely long straight one <laughs> that's, that's 26 inches long so and i've done nothing with this i planted it left it and I haven't even taken some of the beans off. Look at the look at the length of some of them. This one's came off as well. It's another long one. That was 25. There's a few more here as well. So I've got plenty of long seed here. There's even more in the bottom there. You see. So I should have plenty of uh, long bean to play with. But uh, my biggest this year is going to be that bad boy. Right there. Same length. In fact, it's bigger. Bigger than my arm. So there we go. So here's my apple tree here. Fruits on them. Fantastic. Same as issue as grander. There's loads. And to stop it from keeling over, which I don't think this one will do, Grander Dave's off to take the apples off when he gets a chance because he knows that I'm away again this week. So he's going to take all them apples off and get them stored just like his. So I need to get my tray sorted out. Not only that, on my pear tree here, sadly I've lost a branch. That branch there snapped because of the weight of the pears that was on it. So you can see the size of these. Some fantastic pears on this, yeah. So I need to get them taken off as well. They're all on here as well. Fantastic. We've had a hell of a fruit harvest this year, which is great. Absolutely great. Look at these, look at these apples. Grandma thinks that these are uh, Granny Smiths. Makes big apples, these so we're gonna have plenty of apples to play with, <laughs> right? Let's uh, get up there. Oh, so this one here that's another pear tree that was a mystery tree. So we've got some pears to take off there. I'll take them off now, try and keep the stems on. So try, there we go. So I'll keep that one, see how long it takes to soften off. Put that one in the pocket also. This borage needs to be taken, even though there is still some pollinators. I need to get it off because I don't know where it's come from and the stem's really thick. So I need to sort that out as well. But that's me done for the day. So yeah, getting all that sorted out. And also getting the inside of here sorted as well, which was uh, very handy. I'll have a quick look and see what... Anyway, nothing's really happened to be honest, but uh, I'll show you this considering the weather we've had. I've got my lone pepper standing tall still, still growing away, still got peppers on it. Take them home actually, decent size. I've still got this uh, giant beetroot still growing, still got plenty of healthy <laughs> green uh, growth on it. I'm just gonna leave that in, just leave it in. It's a it, it, it's all right, fill a few jars that. <laughs> and if I have a quick look outside, obviously, bother. The bunnings of weeds. Just weeds coming through, just top them off. I'll get the uh, other stuff put in. Same here as well. Get the, uh, there's not much weeds on there, but that's sorted. But aye, inside uh, inside here, cabbage has uh, formed its head. That's big. And of course, this one as well. Bloody size of that thing, it's massive that. That's my hand. That's a red cabbage. That's a massive red cabbage. There's my foot, hold on. Size nine. 
huge that i need to get that weighed down and see how, how, how much it is how heavy it is because it'll be new personal best that and that's what i'm about beating personal best right i'm going to have a look around it's fire tight fire season burn from the um what is it the end of first of october till the 31st of march so i've got a lot of stuff that needs burning i've got no space on this allotment to burn it i've still got a bin full here which i'll have to empty take next door and we'll get a fire going but uh, other than that the only thing that's changed here is granddad dave has taken all the apples off the tree and of course i'll forget rid of this get rid of that get rid of that me chrysanthemums are coming out massively smell lovely as well right i'm gonna we'll have a look see what else has been going on inside here. the cucumber house we've still got cucumbers growing right, they're not really going to slow right down we've just got a few i can take home for you guys if you wanted that's all what i'll do now is while well, i'm waiting for john coming down nice big tomato there is uh start taking the cucumbers down because there's no point in having them now because the heat's gone i don't think it was all right the biggest one i've got in here is either going to be that one there or that one up there we'll see there's some fuel up the top there i'll have to get in there anyways right leave it with me i'll get this sorted Made to start making a mess. <laughs> I'll tidy this up another time. John and Leah's just getting here, so we're going to go and uh, see if we can start that fire out and then uh, make a start on the shed base. What lovely Leah? Busy riddling. John's with his tools, even though I know he's a tool as well. <laughs> he didn't hear that because he's deaf. <laughs> on you, John. Oh. So he tell you. <laughs> So this is what the plan is when I get the base done for the shed that is going here. So we've got all the stuff all ready to go. I'm going to put these up and we'll see what we can get done in the next few hours. And here he's all said. My crack. <laughs> no, oh God's sake, man. <laughs> John's got his favourite tool, his nail, nail gun. I don't want to put these up. <laughs> Take it again. where we're at the minute this is the base and this is pretty much the height where it's going to be but by the time we dig down so we're going to just be over with apples so this is the size it's 20 by 8 round about um we've got it level off at the minute that's the height it's going to be off the ground we're going to get a concreted in the morrow uh john's coming back down to spend me the, the day with us aren't you it's my birthday present <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to dig holes because you're going to bring the concrete and all that down for the morrow and then we'll get it put in tomorrow and set and then that'll be the base sorted then we just need to do the is it the cross beams uh, it needs another set of beams down the middle of each yep yeah, so and then the center cross beam. but it's a start we've been seeing for three months we'll get it started three months. Uh, three months to get it started right well there uh, we'll crack on Right, we've, uh, we've dug the holes ready for tomorrow. So there's 12 in total going across here for the support. Obviously two in each corner to start with. And obviously attached to each internal post. And then once we've got the, the concrete in, we can then level the, the base off anyways. These aren't going to be the final posts. The final post John's got at his house. He's going to soak them in oil. 
and then uh, we want to wrap them in plastic as well just to make sure that they're supported and obviously covered as well for the rotten damp because there's some uh, there's some soggy holes in here it's wet down there so you are roughly level not too not, not too bad it's not too bad ever being level but <laughs> hey it's uh, it's going to be dropping a little bit further down than that so uh, i we've actually made a start so I'm going to finish off tidying up. John's going now because we're going to set to get the kids. I'm going to sort my side out, tidy up, and then I'm going home as well. And that, I just want to quickly wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that stuff. And uh, I have been watching everybody else's videos and stuff as well and keep myself up to date and uh, see how things have been getting on with everybody else. So it's been nice to have a bit of a catch up as well. But it's time to get sorted out for myself. Work's done. I managed to get settled with work. It's taken a lot longer than I expected to get sorted with work. Um, so that's sorted out and uh, i've got somebody else for you to uh, meet later on and we'll see you a little bit later on so i did manage to get a start anyways before i stopped inside of here this is what it's like at the minute nothing has changed at all so i've got the beetroot in there beds are all sorted uh, if i take outside put the beetroot in here but as you can see it didn't take and it's just rotted so that needs to be taken out and chucked away because I'm not getting no seed from them so that's that and this is still all nice and tidy until the mare's tail comes through <laughs> but that's all tidy in there as well so them bits are done let's have a look next door so last time I was hoping to get the shed up to be honest but uh, with me being busy and John being busy with work we've not really managed to get much else done but John has been down and uh, I was with him not long ago and the floor frame is all sorted we just need to get them all uh, it's concrete in, which will be the next task because we've got the majority of the posts in there already uh, but let's have a quick look as well and see what's going on on this side because I know that Leah's been busy as well so on this side Leah's been, Leah has been very busy She's starting to tidy up all the way down here as well because we get the food bushes this section here has both been tidied up John's brought looks like he's brought some of the stuff already there down to get cracked on this bed cleared this bed out this bed has been cleared out that bed's been cleared out this bed's been cleared out everything's stacked up Sift through some, some bear uh, because trying to. It's got John's got his homemade sieve here, and what they've done is got it back and forward, and hopefully get rid of all the mare's tail as much as possible. So they're going to do all of these beds up here. But yeah, busy, busy, busy. Got a fire to have here. Looks like getting some more wood, compost area. Which is great. So I uh, reckon uh, we've moved a lot of stuff out of the way up there as well. A load of wood and everything for the the frame, the shed. So things are coming along here nice and slowly, but surely they are. And when the weather and the longer nights come into play, we'll have a lot busier. But it's going to be nice to get that shed up at the bottom of the garden. I do have a plan of action uh, when I get a chance to do so uh, after work. Weekends when I can. At the minute I'm on contractual overtime, so I've got to work on the weekends. So it's working all week, so I'm not really getting much chance to come down. But look at me little goodie and harvest that I've uh, picked up today. Picked up all of these panes of glass, two by twos, and some other ones as well. I've already fixed this window here, the back, because I just had that bit of cardboard down there. So I've already fixed this one here. So that's up, and what the plan will be Start is... Start from the top, I'm going to work my way down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this greenhouse emptied. I'm going to take everything out of it. I'm going to take the glass out. I'm going to replace any bits of broken glass. Because as you can see, if we come in here, we've got a big crack across here. This side is absolutely minging. And it's a bit of paint to try and get uh, it all cleaned off. So I might just replace them panes if I can. The undersides, the last chap, just put a load of wood on the bottom, but that's all deteriorated away. So I'll go back to putting it as glass, and then pretty much I can start again inside of here. We well, put the bench, leave the benches and everything in, leave the fire and everything in, and start again in here. And then moving down here, I know that this is already done. I just need a little bit of sort them bits out so it stops the uh, butterflies getting in. This tunnel is pretty much done. I need, still need to put the string lines across the top. And then I can move down to the middle of the garden. Get this polytunnel structure finished this year. And get the middle greenhouse sorted as well. 
and then I can move further down there. So the bottom half of that garden down there, right at the bottom, that'll be left to last. Sort that out. I want to get my structures and everything done this year. I want to get everything else sorted out. I want to get this side tidied, nice and sorted, covers on. So all I need to do is just come down and maintain it. That's exactly what I want to do. That's the plan this year. So my grow shed at home, I've not put nothing in. I'll only be putting in a couple of things, but it'll be later on in the year. So I probably will be doing me cucumbers and things that will be able to grow later on. I've not done anything. I've not got no onions, no leeks, no nothing. I've got absolutely nothing. I haven't got no kohlrabi or anything in at the moment. No beetroot or anything. I'm pretty much going to be past that now. But I'm going to focus on my plan. My plan is get the garden sorted. Get the garden on top of things this year. And then grow a couple of things so I can keep on top of that as well. So I can obviously spend a bit of more time with the family going over the next 12 months. I need to sort out obviously the show, uh, the Northeast Giant Veg show. So I've got that to do in the back burner. And uh, I need to focus on getting through my apprenticeship as well with work. So plans in action, everything's sorted. There is some good news. On just after Christmas, we had a new member of the family born. Now I know he's all, um, I've, up, I've uploaded some pictures and stuff like that, uh, but as somebody I like he's all to meet. So Leslie went into hospital and then every day over Christmas, one Christmas day, Boxing Day, they, they get offered a sweep on Christmas day, so uh, oh, we went oh. for it. I know, I know, I know, didn't they? <laughs> so yeah, um, little Sophia Joan Hood was born on the 28th of December, she's now six oh. weeks old. And you can tell she loves her daddy. <laughs> don't you, darling? Yeah, don't you? I want to give everybody a smile. Eh? Yeah, good girl. <laughs> she's not. She's got a cry instead. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a new little baby, little girl. She was six six born. She's now seven seven. <coughs> and she likes to make that noise quite a lot if she's not attached to Leslie. <laughs> Speak, Leslie. Leslie's doing fine as well. She's, she's spitting. Aren't you? What's the matter? Oh, you're all right. <coughs> Brothers and sisters all love her as well. There's mommy there. <laughs> she's crying. Make it stop. Help. <laughs> yeah, that makes things life a lot easier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how are the moon? That's what I've been doing the last few weeks. Uh, focus on family. But for me... That's what I've been up to, that's what I've done, that's what I'm going to be doing. There's the future, and I know what I'm doing as well in the garden. So I'll see you all next time, might be a few weeks, don't know, but bear with us, I will get things sorted back again. Ta-da. Mm -hmm.